So if you want to know how I made these homemade vegan pizza rolls and strawberry cheesecake cinnamon rolls, you're going to want to keep watching because y'all, and this is such an easy recipe. So go ahead and subscribe and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. So let's go ahead and get started on our pizza rolls. I'm gonna use the same dough for both recipes. Just make sure you read the ingredients, but this is one of those things that are accidentally vegan. And then I have some chopped up vegan pepperoni. Use whatever brand you like. I chopped it up really well because I want it to be able to be evenly distributed. My spices. And then I have some freshly chopped garlic. And I also have this garlic and basil sauce that I got from Grow Zone Family Farms. And I also had some pepper and onion that I sauteed. Now, if you don't want to add pepper and onion, you don't have to do that. Vegan cheese. Now this is a basic marinara sauce that I'm going to season. You have to season everything. But if you wanna make your own sauce, that's perfectly fine. You can use a pizza sauce, you can use the actual spaghetti sauce, like any of those things, do whatever you want. And then I have this liquid mozzarella. Now this is the game changer when it comes to these pizza rolls and you are gonna see why. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Oof. Why do they have to do that? Lord, my heart is beating fast. And it's been sitting out for a while. That's why it pops so easily. The dough really needs to be room temperature, in my opinion. It just works better for this recipe. And I'm just gonna roll it out. But what I'm doing is I'm stretching the dough out to the end of the pan. And I just really wanna get it all stretched out so that I have more to work with. So I'm gonna add my spices. And some of the fresh garlic. So since this is a marinara sauce, it's already a little bit sweet. This is a little backwards because I know you typically will put your sauce down first, but hear me out. I'm gonna put my cheese down first because this dough is gonna get really soggy really fast. Just a thin layer of cheese. Trust me. And you don't need to put a whole lot down. Just some type of light separation. So now I'm gonna add my sauce. So at this point, the dough is wet, y'all, and we gotta work kinda fast, cause it's gonna start getting soggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my pepperoni down. I'm just gonna spread it all throughout. And now it's time for our veggies. Add a little bit more cheese because we about to go ahead and close them up and y'all have to think about the fact that yeah it doesn't seem like a lot of ingredients on here but we're rolling them so it's gonna be a lot when you put it all together so we have to be gentle so when I pull up I push down then pull back and then just roll when you get to the end you want to pull the very end and then kind of just tuck it over, okay? And then set it up like this. Y'all see what I'm doing? Just roll them up like that, super easy. All right, so now I'm gonna make a quick garlic oil. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of grapeseed oil in here, that garlic from earlier. And then I'm just gonna combine that really well. Okay, so I decided to get a smaller pan. This was a little older, but it's fine. 
and let's just transfer them. I'm so sad about wasting that oil, but it is what it is. Okay, so here they are, the rolls so far. And we just have a few more steps before we put them in the oven. I'm gonna get that garlic and basil sauce that I got from Grow Zone, and they made this fresh. So I highly recommend you guys check them out. I'm just gonna mix a little bit in these fresh garlic. I know it's garlic on garlic, but trust me. And I'm just gonna place that on top. Now, uh, if you're not a garlic lover like that, you can definitely skip this step, but I highly recommend you do it. And now our vegan mozzarella. Now, I've also seen people make um, their own homemade versions of this. I actually might try and make some myself. I'll let you guys know. But all I'm gonna do is just pour some over each one. And this cooks up so good. I know it looks weird, but wait until you see it cook. Ooh, okay, so now I'm gonna put them in the oven. So I'm gonna bake them for either 15 to 20 minutes. I don't know yet, but I'll let you guys know how long I cooked them for. All right, y'all, so here they are. Super easy. And so I actually ended up baking them for a total of 35 minutes on 350 degrees. Now, if you decided to bake them on 400 degrees, I feel like you could probably bake them for only 20 minutes. So they look amazing. They smell even better. And what I'm gonna do now is add a little bit more of the marinara sauce to the top. And it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. I'm just gonna like put it on there. All right, and there you have it. Pizza rolls. Okay, so obviously not everybody likes ranch on their pizza, but we do. Everybody in this house does, so you already know what I'm about to do. It's child proof. So I did water this ranch down a little bit because I don't want it super thick. It's probably still gonna be thick, honestly. There's a little over the top. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of nutritional yeast. And this is gonna be like our Parmesan, I guess. This is cute. Looks so good. Parsley. Hold on. I'm gonna add some dried parsley. Ooh, okay. This looking a little bit too fancy. Just go ahead and mix it in this sauce. Ooh. So there it is. This is it. It looks so good. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this in the oven and then get our station prepped for the dessert. All right, so now it's time for our strawberry cheesecake vegan cinnamon rolls. And we're gonna use that same dough as before. It's at room temperature, it's been sitting out for about an hour. Ooh, I'm scared. So let me go ahead and roll this out and then I'll tell you all your ingredients that you're gonna need for this one. Okay, so now that we have it out, what you're gonna need is some cinnamon, freeze dried strawberries, and I crunch these up because I want them to be small. So just. It's actually pretty satisfying. These are some whole frozen strawberries. And all I did was let them come to room temperature and as you can see it made its own juice and I'm just gonna muddle them. And so you're also gonna need a strawberry preserve. So you can use strawberry pie filling if you want, I've done that before, or a strawberry preserve. The reason why I like using this one is because the sugar amount is better to control. And then I have some of Marcus's vegan cheesecake filling. So first we're gonna actually put down the cheesecake filling. So this is so good. If you want the recipe for this cheesecake filling, I actually made a video 
if you just scroll down it's like one of my most recent videos i actually made a vegan cheesecake all right so all i'm gonna do is spread the cheesecake filling over the top and try your best to get to the edges but not too thick oh, it smells so good oh, this is some super fat stuff when i make healthy stuff y'all don't even want to watch it so this ain't the healthiest meal okay and now i'm gonna sprinkle some cinnamon on top of that just to get that cinnamon feel and to create a slight barrier between the cheesecake and the strawberry preserves so let's go ahead and get our preserves <laughs> babe i can't open this Okay, while well, I wait on him to come open that for me, I'm gonna go ahead and start muddling my strawberries. Now y'all, we're not gonna add any sugar to these because this recipe has plenty of sugar in it. Now, if you want to add a little bit of sugar, you can, but I'm not. I just want the fresh strawberry vibes, that's all. Okay, set that to the side. Got our strawberry preserve. And we're just gonna put a few blocks. And we're just gonna smooth it over. Swirl it on if you need to, but just try to completely cover it in this strawberry preserve. And then I'm gonna get some of the juice of the strawberries and just kind of like drizzle it on there. Just to get some of that in the center and then smooth that over as well just to give us that extra strawberry taste. Okay. And now it's time for our dehydrated strawberries. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle the rest of it on there, all the, the powder and everything. Oh, y'all, they smell so good. I can literally smell the strawberries. Okay, so I'm gonna butter the bottom of this pan, and this is just some cinnamon and brown sugar butter that I made. And I'm just gonna spray it, spread it on the bottom of this pan. So they have like this beautiful crust at the bottom, this buttery cinnamon sugar crust. So same as with the pizza, gonna start on the end and as we roll, we're gonna pull. Pull and roll, pull and roll. And then I'm just gonna put them in my pan. All right, y'all, so there you have it. Here are the strawberry cheesecake cinnamon rolls. And I'm gonna actually just pour a little bit of plant milk over the top before I put them in the oven. All right, so I have a little bit of plant milk right here and I'm just gonna use this zero calorie skinny syrup. And it is the vanilla caramel cream. So I'm just gonna add this to the milk. Four pumps. And then I'm just gonna froth it up a little bit. Now, if you want, you can use um, like vegan coffee creamer or vegan heavy whipping cream, whatever. I'm just using what I have. This is oat milk with that um, zero calorie syrup. Do you see how much we have now compared to how much we started with? Okay. And all I'm gonna do is pour it over the top. Trust me. A little bit on the bottom as well. And this just helps make them a little more fluffy, I feel, and softer. And then into the oven they go. And we're gonna let them bake 
I'm gonna see how they look after 20 minutes, but I'll let you guys know just how long I let them bake for, but they are on 350. All right, y'all, so here they are. I got them out of the oven, looking oh so good. And so I have some leftover glaze that I made before, and all this is is just vegan cream cheese. I added that leftover vanilla caramel cream plant milk. And that's all that this is with powdered sugar. So I'm gonna drizzle it over the top like this. Y'all, they smell so good. All over the top. And then we're gonna stop and put those muddled strawberries on top. And then I'm gonna put some more of the glaze on top. Now, if these were cooled off, they would stay white, but since they're still hot, the glaze is gonna turn clear and that's fine. And there you have it. Strawberry cheesecake vegan cinnamon rolls. All right, so let's plate each of them up and try them, y'all. This is super easy as you can see but I can't wait to try them, so hold on. All right, y'all, so now it's time to plate them up and try them, and they look so good. Let's get our pizza one first. Remember that bottom is kind of crispy and buttery. Okay, let's plate that up. See that? And then let's get one of these. I'm gonna get one of the ones in the middle. And the bottom of these are buttery as well. All right, so let's do the pizza one first. It's super soft on the inside, y'all. Mmm. So good. Yes. Out of 10, I definitely give this a 10. One out of 10, 10, 10. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. It's absolutely delicious. Okay. And now it's time to taste the strawberry cheesecakes and rolls. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. All right, y'all. So there you have it. Make sure I was good because y'all wasn't going to tell me no way. But there you have it. Some homemade vegan pizza rolls and some strawberry cheesecake cinnamon rolls. Y'all, these were so easy. Using the same dough, most of the store-bought doughs are vegan. Just read the back and make sure. But this is perfect for those nights you don't feel like cooking too much. Movie night, family night, they're perfect for parties. You can make them any size you want. Fill them with any type of filling that you want and make them your own. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. But I hope y'all like this one and I hope you make it. And if you do, let me know what you think. I already know it's the best idea and y'all already know you're gonna love it. Don't forget the ranch. Let's just get this. It's not enough for my family. I'm just gonna have all that to myself. Yeah. Yeah.